This is the vegan anarchist. And in this video, it's gonna be about who's the real terrorist? Donald Trump? Or Antifa? Who's the real terrorist? Well, the answer to be obvious if you, if you know what my channel is about and what I believe in. But, let me give you uh, some arguments to say why Trump is the terrorist and why Antifa isn't terrorism, but an act of anti-terrorism. Let's do this. Yeah, why, why, what did Trump do or said that said, well, well, Trump did just kill a few a week ago, so killed an eight-year-old little girl, and she was the sister of that 16-year-old boy or guy that Trump, that Obama killed. So he, and that's an example, basically, he fulfilled the promise of killing not just the terrorists, but their families. He said he was going to do that, and he just did that. Like that. And he, and he goes to drone strikes people like Obama did, without any uh, approval, without any, not, without any like trial. Oh, but, oh, yeah. Or, and then another thing is like, oh, Trump, Trump, Oh yeah, Trump's basically, he's strong, he's a strong man, but the truth is, is that he's not. Not only he suggests to bomb literal civilians who just happen to be related to a terrorist, he, he said he, we should torture even if it doesn't work. And what did Antifa do? Oh, punch a uh, neo-Nazi. Oh, he denies being a Nazi. Spencer, but he's actually a neo-Nazi. He lets you break a few windows. Okay, maybe Mace of Trump supporter I was. Oh, big deal. Donald fucking Trump is the head, the chief executive of the world's most biggest and most powerful terrorist organization in the world. The United States government terrorizing people since 1776. In fact, Trump is filled with terrorism sympathies. And, oh, but let's talk about what happened during the whole Berkeley riot thing. Oh, it's a violation of free speech! Uh, like, you know, because frozen peaches are kind of good. Free speech! Yeah, I'll accept that. Um, number one, it wasn't because free speech is what the government cannot do. And B, it, and it, an Antifa isn't part of the government. And B, it also means that you, people don't have to listen to your garbage. All they're doing is no platforming them so that his message wouldn't and negatively affect the students there. In fact, let's take this further. He, Milo Yiannopoulos had gone into a university, singled out a trans person, I think a trans woman, a trans person, before they transition. And not only singled them out, but ridiculed her, or them. What the fuck? And then now they get bullied and had to leave school. That by alone means Miles should be anywhere in your university, because that isn't what, that isn't what an intellectual conversation or intellect does. No, that's what a fucking bully does. And, and furthermore, it's, it's very important, I don't know if it's true or not, but I'm going to treat it as possibly true because given the illnesses I gave you about Milo, Milo, it was important that he wanted to give the names off of the undocumented workers, threatening them with deportation, with violence. If that, so basically, yeah, I'm like, Oh yeah, and, and yeah, Trump supporters. They like to 
know, playing our free speech, and so do liberals, but I'll get to them later. Be it they voted for a man that, that tried to sue Bill Maher and the Onion for jokes. That tried, that actually not tried, he promised to loosen the libel law so in case somebody writes an article that Trump didn't like about him. And that fucking guy is lecturing Berkeley about free speech when he himself violated free speech with the arm of the state. And no, I don't think the state should silence people because there shouldn't be a state. The truth is, bad. we have white supremacists in the goddamn executive branch. We have actual white supremacists running the loose not the beating up gay people, beating up minorities, beating up Muslims. The other day there was a fucking shooting at in Canada at a mosque. No one was a shooting. And they reported it as a bunch of Arabs, but it turned out it was actually fake news because there was, it was a white guy who was a Christ cop. Who committed that? And, and basically, they're all the modern KKK, like the KKK is so wrong, but they basically do what the KKK has them been doing. You have fuckers like Dylan Roof, and they're the number one terrorist threat. And what happened? Oh no, Trump is trying to get them out of the terror watch list because, I don't know, reasons. Oh, because he's a sympath he sympathizes with them, and because he knows them, because his cabinet has Steve fucking Bannon, and he had a, he's nominating uh, somebody from the Supreme Court who had a club in high school called Fascism Forever! Liberals! People that talk these little conservative. I, you know what, that, the whole free speech idea is, a, is just a red herring. It is more important to stop the spread of fascist, old right, neo-Nazi, white supremacist ideal. And no, I'm not saying Milo is a neo-Nazi. He's more like old white, basically, but he's basically the transition to a full-blown Nazihood. But yeah, you have fuckers like those Patty Power. And basically, neo-Nazism is on the rise. They're taking over countries in Europe. They have, they're, they're really popular, 40% of the 30%. They're a force to be reckoned with. And, you know, the last time they happened, can you imagine what, well, can you imagine, the liberals are like this. And then imagine in the 30s, a liberal, said, don't punch Adolf Hitler, don't punch Franco, or even in the 20s, or don't punch Mussolini. It's free speech. You gotta respect your free speech. Well, no, because the right of millions of people to not be genocided outweighs the right for some guy to speak. And even then, it's not, it's what the government cannot do. No platforming isn't an infringement on free speech unless the government does it. If Twitter no platforms of them, well, they don't platform me, I'll hate it. But it's not, it's not a violation of free speech as Donald Trump suing me because I made this video calling him a terrorist. But the Berkeley boys were violent! They were violent! Look at the window! Look at the fucking window! Yeah, a window. Look at the families that Donald Trump is trying to victimize. We have people, and the only reason, for example, the Muslim ban was because people were pissed off and protesting. He had to concede, okay, if you hold a green color electric, but you didn't owe anyone else a ban. But and he banned it, they may have ad hoc reasons like, oh, I don't know. They're unstable, even though that's the reason why you should let them in is because the country's been destabilized, and furthermore, America was the country that destabilized them. 
the West did it. So those kids like Libya wouldn't be a shithole away from America. It was a shithole to Dobby, but God damn it, it was a so bad a shithole. It's not even funny. Thanks, Hillary. Thanks, Trump, for that. Thanks, 30 years of neoliberalism. Thank you, capitalism. Thank you, liberals. <clears throat> so yeah, those conservatives are hypocrites. They voted for a man who obviously hates free speech, and yet when someone tries to stop some, uh, basically somebody from harassing the students and speaking, and who's not even an intellectual discussion, it's just like he when that or calling out people like because they're different. Oh no! Like, I mean, like, okay, and conservatives are willing to support. They're willing to support innocent people in the Middle East being bombed because they're brown. A lot of them would maybe a lot of them think because I'm brown and have a different religion. And yes, religion sucks. I'm not gonna say religion Islam doesn't suck, but that doesn't mean you bomb it as a people. They're the same people in fact, and who wouldn't condemn when one I can remember some secretary of a county or something like that who suggested those Berkeley protesters should have been what happened should have happened what happened in Kent State. Literally, actual violence, people being murdered. Oh, how about that family who's being denied health care? Because what would have if Trump and a Republicans repealed Obamacare? That's violence. They have no problems endorsing violence, state violence. But when people oppose them and use violence to fight back against the system, oh no. That's, that's, that's too far. But supporting war crimes isn't. Look at me, I'm a conservative. Ooh. I'm not, but I'm sarcastic. But yeah! This is bullshit. The truth is, and okay, for those who say, but fascists deserve to be debated. Well, number one, fascism, the appeal isn't that they can win the argument. The appeal is the fascism is designed to seduce people. In fact, in fact, the, um, a famous free speech advocate, brilliant writer, brilliant, he's so brilliant, Bertrand Russell, in case you skeptics this one, think you criticize me, he wrote about why he didn't want to talk to fascists and why he shouldn't debate fascists. It's, he wrote that, and I'm gonna link that below. But yeah, there's no, it's not productive conversation if you're just going to bully people, cause division, ruin people's lives. It's not. You shouldn't be allowed in universities. And, and yes, by the way, I do not condemn the rights. In fact, I see the rights were awesome. They did what they did. They did what they needed to do, and they got what they wanted to want, what they wanted. What, and that is to stop Biden from spreading his hate message of destruction and leaving a trail of people killing themselves because Milo fucking bullied them. Or, well, yeah, and also there's no free speech, those free speech warriors don't have a problem with people being bullied on the internet and harassed and they just have to shut down because they get death threats. Mm. Like for example, what happened to that guy, all I want for Christmas is white genocide, even though he's not calling for an actual genocide, he was just joking about it, you know, oh yeah, that's, that's too far, you must be bad, yet they say the same thing, that, oh, but that same way they protect my life. Yeah, I I endorsed what happened in in Berkeley. I endorsed it. I'm fucking proud of Antifa for what they did. They're heroes. And you know what? You know to those Anna Caspora and and Jake and fuckers like Kyle Collins who work in TYT and secular talks. You can go fuck yourselves because. You show that you don't, you'd rather put an abstract principle ahead 
of the lives of, of millions. You, you only anti-fascist on paper, but in practice we're not. You're, you're not. You're willing to let them to spread their propaganda unchecked and basically my, you know what I mean. But yeah, that's all I want to say. This is the vegan anarchist. No me, no milk, no masses. Bash the fast. Time to bash the fascists. Anti-fuck forever. Fuck the fascists. Fuck fascism.